getting wiggy with it. Wigs have their origin in ancient Egypt. Flash forward to Queen Elizabeth I of England. Most wigs at this time were created for men. Wigs became a fashion statement under King Louis XIII of France, who lost his hair, probably due to syphilis, and his heir, Louis XIV, took the wearing of the peruke to entirely elevated levels. Marie Antoinette, the wife of Louis XVI, brought the wig back into fashion when she wore wigs and hair pieces to create elaborate hairstyles. The washing of the wigs proved less popular than the wearing of them. Thus began the practice of powdering them. There's even a wig for your private parts. It's called a merkin. But the introduction of synthetic fiber hair in the 1960s changed everything. 